But some banks, such as Citizens Financial, are still betting big on physical locations. That company announcing last week it will acquire 80 HSBC East Coast branches. Joining us in a first on CNBC interview is Citizens Financial CEO Bruce Van Son. Bruce, good to have you this morning. Uh, all right, you know, I get confused because it's the afternoon, excuse me, but I'm usually here in the morning, or at least broadcasting in the morning. Why the purchase of these branches? Why is this still a business that you want to actually grow in? Well, it's uh, very attractive locations for us. Uh, we have a gap between our New England franchise and the Mid Atlantic franchise. And so, uh, to be able to acquire 66 branches in the metro New York region uh, is, is an important market that we want to serve. We also go south a little bit from Mid-Atlantic into the Washington, D.C. area, and then we pick up five branches in Miami area. Uh, we've recently opened a wealth center in Palm Beach and another one uh, over in uh, Naples, and so that gives us a good nexus in the key areas of Florida. Uh, I should point out also that uh, about $6 billion of the $9 billion deposits that we're acquiring uh, are also coming through the HSBC online customer base. And so it's not just branch-based customers we're acquiring. About half of the customers come through the online bank. We have a successful online bank called Citizens Access, and this allows us to scale up quickly and accelerate some of the development efforts that we have underway. And what do you find with branches? I mean, you know, I can remember years, even many years ago at this point, predictions that branches would disappear with the growth of online banking. We all know and many people know that that is certainly here to stay and a lot of people have become quite comfortable with it. So what is the business case for why you want to still have bricks and mortar in your business? Well, I think our most satisfied customers actually uh, use all channels. They desire to have an omni-channel experience where they can go into the branches particularly for complex transactions or when they need advice. Uh, increasingly, they're using the digital tools to be able to manage their balances and take a picture of their checks uh, and make deposits. Uh, and also, they, have, they want to use your contact center so they can call 24-7 if they have an issue. So you have to offer that seamlessly uh, to your customers. And, and when you get that right, those are your most satisfied customers. But Bruce, you know, we mentioned SoFi at the top. These fintech companies are just continuing to grow and continuing to offer more services that look increasingly like what you do to consumers. PayPal's valuation is now $300 billion. Square is $100 billion. How, how much of a competitive threat do you view some of these companies as? Well, I think those uh, PayPal, PayPal and Square have been uh, really smart about how they've attacked the payment space. Uh, so certainly uh, taking some market shares from the banks. Uh, but many of the fintechs, actually, we've partnered with those. So we have 25 fintech partnerships. Uh, you talked about SoFi, and I saw Anthony's profile earlier, but uh, we partner with them. We're a flow partner, so we'll buy some of their originations and put those on our balance sheet. So uh, I think it's great to see uh, the innovation that's occurring in fintech space. Uh, if we can access that to do more for our customers or run the bank more effectively, we're all in on that. It's been, uh, and you know, a little more competition also keeps you on your toes and raises what we need to do with our customers improve in terms of improving the customer experience where the fintechs do a very good job. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.